For this video, let's jump right into creating a custom configuration profile with Azure Auto Manage. To do so, navigate to Auto Manage in the Azure portal, then click on Configuration Profiles. Azure Auto Manage comes with two built-in profiles out of the box, but if these profiles don't meet your needs, you can also create new custom configuration profiles, specifying only those settings that you would like to apply to your machines. For my example, I want to create a new profile called non-prod, which will be similar to the built-in dev test profile. To create a new profile, click on the Create button here. Then specify a name for the new profile. Next, you'll need to choose a resource group where this new profile will be stored. I already created a resource group ahead of time to store my profile, so I'm going to choose that one. Now I'm going to choose the settings for this profile. First, I'll disable backup, since this will be for non-prod machines. And just for the sake of this demo, I'm going to also uncheck Update Management and Change Tracking and Inventory. Once your profile is configured, click the Create button. Now I should see my new profile listed under Configuration Profiles and I can start enabling it on virtual machines. I'll be going through those steps in my next video, so stay tuned for that. Now, one thing you might notice on this screen is that there is no delete button if you wanted to delete a custom profile. I don't know if that option will become available in the future since Auto Manage just came out of public preview recently. But for now, if you need to delete a custom profile, you'll need to browse to the resource group where it's stored. If I open up this column on the right, I can see the resource group I chose for this profile. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. There's currently nothing showing in this resource group, however. That's because the configuration profiles are a hidden type. In order to see hidden items, just click the Show Hidden Types checkbox. Now I can see the non-prod profile. And from here, I can click on it and then delete it like I would any other resource. Now, when I go back to Configuration Profiles, first, make sure none of them are checked off. Then, hit Refresh. Now I no longer see the non-prod profile in this list. That's how to create a custom configuration profile in Azure Auto Manage. Thanks for watching.